dear students in today's session we are going to see how to solve linear partial differential equation with constant coefficient and it is homogeneous if my right hand side contains cos ax plus by or sin ax plus by how to solve the problem so this type 2 is very interesting when your right hand side contains cos or sin because we have different methods to solve we are going to see one by one and whichever the method you like you can just follow for your exam point of view. These are all some problems we are going to discuss in this video. We are going to solve few problems and remaining problems you are going to do as a practice. Let us go into the procedure. We remember if it is e power ax plus b y is your right hand side then d is replaced by a d dash is replaced by b. Now in the case of sin and cos what is happening when I differentiate sin ax plus b y with respect to d I will be getting a cos ax plus b y. If I differentiate this again then I will be getting a into a minus sin ax plus b y. That is when I do two times differentiation with respect to d I will be getting minus a square and the sin again. Similarly if I do two times with respect to d dash I will be getting minus b square sin ax plus b y again. If I differentiate once with d and with d dash I am going to get coefficient a into coefficient value b sin ax plus b y. So that we conclude d square should be replaced by minus a square. d dash square is replaced by minus b square very important this is not equal to minus b whole square okay this is wrong so it is simply minus b square when you go for d d dash minus a into b hope you understand similarly if you do for d square cos ax plus b y you will arrive the same so that's why in type 2 when you go for the denominator we are going to follow the procedure d square is replaced by minus a square d d dash minus a b d dash square is minus b square okay let us go into the problem first we take a simple problem solve d square minus 2 d d dash plus 2d dash square z is equal to sin x minus y. As usual, we can take d equal to m, d dash equal to 1 and make your RHS 0 to find the axillary equation. My axillary equation is m square minus 2m plus 2 is equal to 0. So, the root is going to be a complex root. So, using quadratic formula, we can find m is equal to plus or minus i. Do you remember the formula guys? x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Here b value is minus 2 minus of minus is 2 2 plus or minus minus 2 square is 4 minus 4 into a value is 1 and b value is 2 divided by 2. So 2 plus or minus 4 minus 8 minus 4 by 2 then we will be getting m is equal to here we take it as m. m is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i by 2 that is 1 plus or minus i. Therefore my cf m is equal to 1 plus or minus i my cf is going to be f1 of y plus i will take y plus i into x this is one root the other root is different the roots are distinct 1 minus i into x so we got the cf now we are going to solve the pi pi is equal to 1 divided by d square minus 2 d d dash plus 2 d dash square sin x minus y so here a value is 1 b value is minus 1 see the coefficients of x and y so next we have to calculate d square d square is going to be minus a square here 1 square that is going to be minus 1 d dash square is minus b square minus of minus 1 whole square it is also minus 1 d d dash is minus a into b so a value is 1 b value is minus 1 minus into minus plus now we have to find the denominator when i find the denominator d square is minus 1 minus 2 d d dash is 1 and plus 2 into d dash square is minus 1 we get minus 5 very good it is non-zero so the problem gets over so i can simply write my pi is equal to 1 by my denominator dr represent denominator 1 by minus 5 sin x minus 5 now you can write z is equal to cf plus pi you can find the cf here and pi here you can write by yourself problem gets over so let us see the next problem since the pd is homogeneous linear partial differential equation with constant coefficients let us take the rhs 0 find 
the complementary function. We do as usual. We get the roots m is equal to minus 4 and 5. Then the complementary function is going to be f1 of y minus 4x plus f2 of y plus 5x. Next we are going to find the pi. So for this we need a and b. Here a is equal to 4 the coefficient of x and b is equal to minus 1. So the procedure is d square should be replaced by minus a square that is minus 16. d dash square should be replaced by minus b square that is minus 1 whole square that is equal to minus 1. d d dash should be replaced by minus a b minus of a value is 4 b value is minus 1 minus into minus plus. So what we can write simply d d dash is replaced minus 1 d square is replaced by minus 16 d dash square is replaced by 4. Now when I calculate my denominator let us see what is going to happen here minus 16 minus 4 minus 20 into minus 1 so it's going to be plus 20 denominator is 0. So when my denominator is 0 what is the procedure we do as usual like type 1 we pre multiply by x and differentiate the denominator alone with respect to d partial so 2d minus d dash sin 4x minus y. Now the trouble is I have the data for d square that is replaced by minus 16, d dash square that is replaced by minus 1, d d dash that is replaced by plus 4. But now my denominator does not contain any d square term or d d dash term or d dash square term. It contains simply d and d dash. So what to do this? So how to tackle this problem? A simple trick I am going to do, I multiply and divide by d. So what will happen now? The problem will become very easy. Now I can rewrite this d divided by 2d square minus d d dash sin 4x minus y. d square d dash square etc. Now I am going to find the denominator 2 into d square value is minus 16 minus d d dash value is 4. So minus 32 minus 4 minus 36. So this time it is non-zero. So I can stop the problem. Now x into 1 by minus 36 denominator over differentiation of of sin 4x minus y. So when I differentiate this, I will be getting sin differentiation as cos 4x minus y into 4. When I simplify this, I will get minus x by 9 cos 4x minus y. This is my pi. So my final pi is minus x by 9 cos 4x minus y. Good. Problem over. So if you write the solution z is equal to cf plus pi, then the answer gets over. Now we are going to see the other way to solve the PI. In some books, a uh, few authors, they use this technique. Now, they take the PI. When the denominator is 0, they pre-multiply by X and differentiate the denominator partially with respect to D. You will be getting 2D minus D dash. So, what we did? We did a simple technique. Multiply and divide by D with 2D minus D dash. We will get the answer. And it is not necessary to do the same. You can even multiply D dash and divide by D dash with 1 by 2D minus D dash. We will get the answer. Now, the other trick is people used to find the conjugate of this. So 2d plus d dash divided by 2d plus d dash. They multiply and divide by this with the given data. Now we recall our school days. a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. So my denominator will become 4d square minus d dash square. In the numerator I have 2d plus d dash of sin 4x minus y. Now they will substitute d d dash value and they will find the denominator. If denominator is non-zero, they will close the problem. But here we have to differentiate sign with respect to d and d dash. I think this is little complicated. So we go by our method. Simply we multiply and divide by d, we get the solution. Now you can see the answer for this method. So the denominator is going to be minus 63 and when you differentiate this 2 d d dash with sin 4x minus y, we will be getting this answer. And then when we simplify, we get the same solution. So, if you are a weak or average student, don't go for this conjugate. Simply multiply and divide by d, substitute the value from the previous calculation, finish the problem. So, this is my general solution CF plus PI. Hope you understand student. Thank you. In the next video, we are going to see some other tips and tricks to solve the same type 2. Thank you. Subscribe our channel, share to your friends, support our channel. See you in the next video.